Are you done? Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Ike Nature. Today we're going to be talking about my predictions for E3. Now E3 is a big event and there's a lot of stuff that could actually be shown here. I'm going to be uh, talking about games I want to see what could possibly be shown and franchises I'm interested in but don't necessarily cover on the channel because yeah, I don't. <laughs> but yeah guys, uh, without further ado, let's just uh, dive straight into it. First off is Kingdom Hearts. Now will we be seeing anything to do with Kingdom Hearts? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, it's it's kind of hit and miss. I mean, I think Kingdom Hearts definitely won't show because there is a schedule that uh, Square Enix actually, you know, put out. But I do think that they could tease something for next year because next year is the 20 year anniversary for Kingdom Hearts. So I think it would be a cool idea if they just teased uh, the anniversary so maybe they can bring the entire collection to Nintendo Switch. Or maybe uh, something along those lines. Maybe they just do a whole collection again. That'd be quite interesting, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I do think that they will maybe, possibly, un very unlikely though, uh, say something about Kingdom Hearts and next year's 20 year anniversary. Maybe they'll hype it up, maybe not. Who knows? But that's my prediction that there might not be anything Kingdom Hearts related. And if there is, it's either a tease or a... Uh, collection re-release again. Oh god, there's so many re-releases. And then we have Final Fantasy, so I really don't think there's gonna be anything significant with Final Fantasy. Um, maybe they'll just release a trailer reminding people integrated is a thing and that uh, you can get it if you have a PS5, because yeah, I don't have a PS5. Thanks, Square. <laughs> Goddamn Square Enix. But anyway, yes, so <laughs> yeah, I think that's what's going to most likely happen. Um, maybe they'll show some new cutscenes or something, but I, I'm sure people will have it by then because I think it's coming out in the next 24 hours or something. Or before that, I don't know when this is going up, you tell me, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> uh, it's interesting. I think there's not a lot of stuff. Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2, very unlikely, most likely next year if anything. But then we have, we have Final Fantasy 16, so will they show it at this year? Maybe. Possibly? I think so. I mean... It's hard to say because they showed this um, last year and I think it would be pretty cool if they did show this. Um, it is possible that they are going to show it um, at the Square Enix present or that whole thing Sony is at at the Summer Game Fest because I do see that it's more of a Sony property than a Square Enix property which is kind of weird to say but when the, the PS5, I remember they were showcasing some stuff, yeah, this was kind of there or something to do with that. So yeah, but who knows. Then we have this, so of course this is the schedule for Square Enix, all the stuff I mentioned aren't actually on the schedule, but it can be a surprise. So there's Marvel Avengers, uh, and then there's the new world premiere of Adios Montreal's newest game. So what could that be? Well, it's one of two. So it could be the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Uh, which was rumored right when Marvel Avengers was announced um, because Square Enix did sign a multi-game deal with Marvel. So this would be pretty cool um, if it was a thin. There's one of two, like I said. There's either this game or the other game. And that is uh, the Final Fantasy Dark Souls-like game. And either one of these games were reported to be the main focus of Square Enix Presents. So I believe that the world premiere is going to be the focal point of the new game, uh, for the new game. So it could be the Dark Souls Final Fantasy game or the Guardians of the Galaxy game. So it's hard to say because again, I just Montreal, I don't think is a Japanese uh, development or working on that. And Team Ninja is working on this. So I think it might be Guardians of the Galaxy, but it could also be this right here. Next we have Marvel Avengers. Marvel Avengers is also going to be at uh, E3, and they're going to showcase uh, Wakanda, the Black Panther War of Wakanda expansion. And I really am excited about this because I love Marvel Avengers, you guys know me, I really like this game. Uh, so, 
Right here we can see the four main stuff at the Square Enix Presents is the world premiere of the new game that's either going to be Guardians of the Galaxy or the new Final Fantasy Dark Souls Sin, uh, Bal Babylon's uh, Fallen and also new details about the Marvel Avengers expansion Black Panther, War of Wakanda and updates of in-game events so that could be Patrol Mode, uh, this month we have the Cosmic Cube. I think we're going to see a lot of uh, the environment but not gameplay. Or more story beats but when it comes to teasers and of next characters because we know Marvel Avengers the biggest thing about the game is bringing in new characters new story and all of that I think they could tease spider-man and I'm saying spider-man because they said at the uh, near the tail end of uh, the year or whenever Black Panther's done uh, spider-man is supposed to come out this year as well so I think they could do a tease similar to this uh, tease right here where they just show the logo and that's it so yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool to see um, like what they most likely will show there. I think it's going to be environmental, um, maybe story-wise, and maybe gameplay, or maybe trailers with glimpses of gameplay, not full-on gameplay. So, yeah, I'm really excited about it, so let's go out of the Square Enix Bowl, and let's go into the other uh, game developers that I actually do quite uh, enjoy their games. Naruto. I'm a huge Naruto fan. I really love Naruto. Um, I really don't know what type of game I want because Shinobi Striker, I do enjoy um, the combat. It is kind of fun, but I really enjoyed the Storm series. The, the fight in the story mode, especially within Storm. Fantastic. You can... The story mode in Storm, man. I just really love the story mode in Storm. And I think... Uh, with Shinobi Striker, there was there wasn't that feeling of a story mode. So, I would really love them to release a Naruto game, whether it be a fighting game or an open world game, similar to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot or One Piece World Seeker. I do like those types of games. Um, I never played Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but it looks fun. Um, One Piece World Seeker, I liked it. It was its own little thing. I really did kind of enjoy it a bit so yeah I would really love to see Naruto have its own open world game and if Bandai Namco wants to show that game at E3 then I'm all for it I really want that um yeah Naruto is one of my favorite animes of all time and yeah and I really love it I think it would make an awesome open world game if it was similar to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot speaking of which I really want either a Fighters 2 Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or uh, something similar to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Again, I never played Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but I'm in love with fighters. Like, I recently got it, and I freaking love the game, man. Um, it's a little bit rage-inducing, but I really do like it. It's, it's a fun game. I really like it. Uh, it's very different from other fighting games I've played. Like, it's not like Tekken, it's not like, uh, Street Fighter or stuff like that. But it is, it's a very fun game. I really love it. It's, it's, it's the only little thing. I think it'd be pretty cool if they, uh... Like showcase Dragon Ball Fighters 2, or maybe um, something along the lines of uh, another Dragon Ball fighting game. Because I like the open world stuff with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but the problem with uh, Dragon Ball Z games is that they retell the same story over and over again. Uh, that's for me at least. But I really liked uh, Fighters because it had its own little thing, and it was pretty beautiful in my in my eyes so yeah I I like the game it's it's fun I I really do like it but I really didn't like the story but it was a unique story it wasn't the whole same beats of following the same story over and over again it made its own little thing and I really love that other things from Dragon Ball from the Dragon Ball series that could be shown if it's not fighters or open world Dragon Ball Z game possibly Xenoverse 3 <laughs> but I don't know man, Xenoverse, uh, Xenoverse, it'll be the same thing over and over, won't it? Like, yeah, they'll add some more mechanics, like, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is way better than Xenoverse 1, in my opinion, but, I don't know man, it's it's just weird, I don't know, it's Dragon Ball Z, it's a very weird uh, franchise for me, but, you know, whatever the case is, it's gonna sell a lot, because Dragon Ball Z, the, 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 the IP is a huge thing, so whatever Bandai Namco has uh, in store for it, it's gonna sell, but I really hope it's a fighting game. That's my prediction, at least. Now we leave Bandai Namco and we're going straight to uh, NetherRealm Studios now. NRS, I love their games. I really love Injustice. It's a fun fighting game. Um, 
There's a rumor that uh, there's a Marvel game in the works at NetherRealm Studios, but a lot of people are saying it's uh, Marvel vs. DC and all of that. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't know. It's like, to me, it needs a build-up. It needs a build-up, so I would really love for the game, the rumored game, which again is uh, that NetherRealm Studios is working on a Marvel game. I think it'd be pretty cool to uh, make a game, make a game focused on the fighting aspects with those heroes. I actually have a wish list um, actually made, and I'll uh, release that video after this video if the game is actually a thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna be just uh, uploading it for no reason whatsoever. But anyway, I think it'd be fun. Um, I really hope that they make the game uh, first, and then. Like make it Marvel Aven Marvel focused. Like it doesn't have to be the Avengers. It's, it doesn't have to be um, like the Fantastic Four or whatever. It can be X Men um, or it can just be a mix of them. It'd be pretty cool um, <laughs> if they actually showed like uh, obscure teams. Like maybe the Dark Avengers. Well, they're not obscure, but it'd be pretty cool to have that storyline. I think it'd be cool. Or the Midnight Suns. I'm a huge Midnight Suns fan fan all right i really like that team <laughs> we are not getting street fighter 6 even though i would love that because well we there's still one more dlc character which we've been waiting for for over a year so i don't know <laughs> um i don't know how long we've been waiting for it but yeah i don't expect street fighter 6 maybe just the dlc character but um yeah that's about it that's my predictions my hopes my dreams and all the stuff for the content I cover, the content I don't cover, and the series that I am interested in. Let me know what you guys are actually excited for. Um, your predictions, your thoughts, your franchises you wish are there. Or maybe some surprises that you want to happen. And then we'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Leave a like, helps me a lot. Comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think. Share with friends, because sharing is current. And most importantly, subscribe to the comment if you like bolt. Anyway guys, that is it for this video, and as always, this is the Lightning H8. Uh, blaze out.